the Trump administration badly wants new stimulus. We think it's needed. Uh, look, in general, we don't like government aid directly to industries. We don't like uh, government supporting a lot of individuals, quite frankly. However, these are very unusual times, and many businesses and many individuals uh, were put out of business through no fault of their own, uh, and in fact, at government order in many states. So we do believe the government has to be part of the response for the near term until our country's fully back on its feet. Now, we can also uh, rightly celebrate that while we're not back at the highs of the Trump boom that we enjoyed in the early months of this year, we have made enormous progress. So the recent economic data is really just astounding. We got third quarter GDP, and it was by far an all-time record at 33% growth for the quarter. Um, so we are charging and roaring back to life economically. That's the great news. The bad news is not everybody is part of it yet. And so the president very much wants aid for those people and for those businesses that are still in trouble. Nancy Pelosi, unfortunately, is really playing pandemic politics. She decided that it was better for her electoral chances to not give aid to people in need um, and, and to have a standoff, unfortunately, on Capitol Hill into the election. We are confident, though, that once we get past the election, uh, that that, that uh, calculus will no longer exist for Nancy Pelosi, and we believe that we're going to reach something that is reasonable. We, we want aid for workers and businesses. What the Trump administration has been adamant about is it will not allow, though, other extraneous liberal wish list items to be included in that aid. For example, Nancy Pelosi insists that there be stimulus checks, assistance checks cut to illegal migrants. Uh, we think that's crazy. People who do not belong in this country in the first place should not be getting taxpayer-funded assistance, particularly in a time of pandemic when American citizens are just getting back to, to their economic life livelihoods.